Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Uh, I'm at a point right now in my life where I'm like questioning the way I approach things as a whole. Like, I'm not exactly sure how to word it directly, but in real life scenarios, I've taken several approaches to several scenarios, and it seems like regardless of what approach I take, I, I just sometimes feel like the things that I do have like the illusion of choice, but nothing really ever is my choice, just because of the kind of person I am. And it's the choice of whoever else it involves, if that makes sense. Whether it's... A, aside from the recent job that I talked about, I believe it was yesterday, or I'll talk about tomorrow, I don't, I don't know. I think I talked about it yesterday. But... Regardless, aside from the whole job thing, I feel like, like everything is just out of my control whether a relationship, or living space, or just kind of my own mental situation, so I feel like everything, I feel like sometimes I'm being held by like a puppet master, and the strings are just like invisible, and you can't like cut them or anything to try to break free. If that makes sense. It's a very old kind of analogy, but if that makes sense then it just kind of feels like that sometimes. I feel like I'm the puppet of some kind of bigger scheme that I don't see. Maybe a scheme that I originally built for myself and I just like don't remember doing it or something. I don't know. But or maybe the puppet of some people who I actually do know and I'm just, you know, that gullible. I doubt it's that last one just because I am not very gullible when it comes to serious matters. Maybe jokingly, yes, I can be very gullible when it comes to jokes, but otherwise I'm way too anal analytic. I don't know. When it comes to analogies, I am way too observant. That's the word. Observant. I'm way too observant for people to get away with anything like that. I've had others lie to me about things, or at least tried to lie, but instantly I would pick up on it. And I've always been able to be able to sense certain individuals when they take an involvement in something that's against something or someone that I care about. Whether it's myself, a job or a career that I'm into or a hobby that I'm into or someone else who I care about or some other individual or someone that they could like that just that kind of thing. If it affects anything like that in a negative way, I pick up on it almost on first meet. It's not something you catch very often, but I've had this kind of aspect in my life for quite some time, but I feel like that particular, ever since I started, like, you know, putting that ability into action, I feel like it's just been kind of destroying me. Because before I actually did do that, I was very... Like, my sense of humor was about the same, maybe a little bit more dirty than it is now. But other than that, it was 
pretty much the same to a degree that like the only difference between me then and me now aside from again that style of humor which actually came from a separate YouTube channel that was very dirty humorously at the time um, one other thing that kind of was different about me then than is now is that I didn't have strict morals. It's not that I didn't have morals, they just weren't strict. This was about five years ago. No. Six years. Six years ago. That's when I started building these strict morals. Maybe it was. It was five or six years ago. I don't remember the exact date, that's why I say that. Either way, ever since that, within those past five to six years, it feels like things have gone just downhill for me, worse than they ever had really done so before. And I'm not exactly sure if I'm willing to continue keeping the outlook that I've had for the past half a decade. I care about other people greatly, but not to the extent where it's going to constantly hurt me. I wouldn't be abusive or anything like that of whatever I do have accessible one way or the other, whether regardless of the type of abuse, verbal, physical, or sexual. I would... Wow, that's loud. I would not do that. But... I'm not sure what I would do, though. I wouldn't do that, but I don't know what I would do. Now, maybe it's, it, it, this didn't, the thing is, this didn't start happening until, once again, this whole outlook thing. When I changed myself with sterner, stricter morals. Makes me wonder if I should just let loose. Not doing anything illegal or anything like that. That's not what I mean, but maybe be a bit more loose-minded. I started thinking about this and the idea itself really kind of cleared fog that was going through my head a lot. It provided a wider opening with people in general and I, I don't know. I, ju I just wonder if like having kind of an open mind for anybody right now would just be the better choice for me. I don't want to hurt anybody but I don't want to get hurt either. That's kind of where it makes it difficult to tell. Because I just don't know the outcomes of anything anymore. I don't trust anything. Even myself. It's gotten to that point. But let me know what you guys think. I do want to take at least outward opinion. Um, as long as it's not harsh. If you like this kind of live stuff, um, these kind of live videos where I either talk about my personal life, personality, past, or random philosophical topics, um, push that like button and so far you can't sit in anymore, and consider subscribing to the channel because I do one of these type of videos every day. Um, if you really do like this kind of stuff, uh, consider clicking the links on the sides of my head. One leads to, as you can probably see from the names, one leads to videos that are more about me, my past, and my personality. The other one leads to more obscure random topics. Either way, I'm going to head off. I need to clear my head of everything that's happened to me thus far within this year. But hopefully I catch you guys in another video. Bye for now.